ये क्यों बाल के साथ खुश भी उड़ गए फिर क्या बोलते हो डन तो हर यात्रा से पहले यात्रा डॉट कॉम आइए जो भी डील चाहिए मैं दिलाऊंगा ये मेरी कमिटमेंट है Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time with me, Shelly Chopra, a slew special guest on this Tiger Woods special. His victory, a comeback victory. Will he deliver the next few and head himself straight to the Masters and beyond? Let me start this segment of the discussion with Ben Fox, the American golfer who's on the show with us. Ben, he changed golf. And in many ways, people believe that he still deserves a lot of credit for taking it to the masses. Do you believe so? I think he's on pace to be. I think he's he's changed golf in a way that no one else has changed golf before. I think he um, uh, deserves a lot of credit. Deserves a lot of credit for being the greatest golfer of all times, as most have called him. Chirag Kumar, do you think uh, the expectations are going up suddenly because Tiger's victory is being looked at as one where people are expecting him to win again? Is he under pressure? I think from the very start, uh, Tiger was expected to do well. So um, if if it didn't slow him down at that point in time, and if it didn't put him under any pressure then, I don't think it should put him in, under any sort of pressure now. Colin, let me bring up the whole issue that people think is bringing Tiger under pressure to break Jack Nicholas's record. He's four tournaments still away from that. Do you think he can make it? Well, he's been asked that for many many years now, and in the early years. He, he said it was too soon to tell, and there was too much big talk too early, and he didn't think Tiger would. But, but in, in more recent years, he's been saying he, he thinks Tiger will, will take the record and, and, and have more majors than him and, and take on the mantle as being the greatest golfer ever, which I find enormously exciting. I mean, it's, it's, it's like climbing Everest, you know, to, you know, and certainly I'll be watching with tremendous interest over the next few years and hope, hoping he makes it. It's the desire of the world, the golfing world, now to focus on Tiger's game, but not necessarily the person who Tiger is. I think with, with sport, it's the winning that interests people. I mean, wh why we're talking about Tiger today is because he won, and we've got tremendous interest if he, if he wins the Masters. And, and you know, if we, if we keep seeing him winning, people are going to be very, very interested in Tiger. Chirag, what's your feeling when you speak to your fellow golfers? Do you get a sense that, you know, Tiger is being considered more like a player, the guy who can do it in a cold way, go out there and win? no longer as the person he is, the perfect athlete? Uh, well, for me as a golfer, I only got to know him as a golfer. I, uh, for me, I really don't uh, uh, you know, uh, bother about the other things. Uh, for me, it's Tiger as a player, and that's what I look at. Colin, people look up to Tiger for his game. Would you agree that they don't really look up to him as a perfect athlete who crossed a billion dollars and then was a perfect idol for people to follow? But I, I mean, obviously that's that's an interesting question. There's been an enormous amount written on that. Um, but but that side of the story is part of everybody's human story. I mean, and the redemptive nature of it is, is part of the story and makes it interesting. I mean, nobody's life is perfect, and, and, and you know, so in a way, that's part of the interest is, is to see him. Um, come through this and it must have been a nightmare the last three years you know losing his mojo and hopefully he's got his mojo back and I, I, I find the redemptive side of his story actually as interesting and I think many other people around the world will as well Ben Fox no matter how great you are does the personality and the person matter you know I, I think what he's done on the golf course has been amazing um, you know, and I know I look up to, to those accomplishments. Um, uh, I did before uh, everything happened, and I still do. And I think that's, uh, I don't know Tiger personally, so, you know, that's what's important to me. And, and I think uh, um, what he's done on the course is very impressive. Colin, do you think the sponsors will make a comeback as well as Tiger sees this turnaround? Absolutely. If he's winning, the sponsors are going to be there. Okay, if he's winning, the money will come in. But Colin, Rory has often been called the new Tiger on the course. What do you think Tiger's comeback is going to mean for Rory McIlroy? Well, we're going to have two Tigers there. It's going to be fun. And the, the, the most exciting days of golf 
was when Niklaus and um, Palmer were duking it out in the early 60s. And there's nothing better for a sport than to have two greats duking it out for the number one spot. So if we see Tiger and Rory regularly going head to head, it, it, could, it could bring immense excitement for the, for the world of golf. So Colin, you say that you know, it would be great to have two Tigers, not just one, which would include Rory, and the game could see some money come back. I'd just be curious, do you think the brands are going to make a comeback, particularly the ones that might have left him, the family brands, the big guys? If, if Tiger's winning, and especially if it's looking like he's going to become the greatest ever, brands will want to associate with him. People are looking at a comeback that will bring in the money as well. That is the verdict coming out there from our special panel here on Tea Time with me, Shelley Chopra. Tiger Woods special, that's what this is. Uh, we've had Ben Fox, Colin Hegarty, Chirag Kumar, and of course Andy McKenzie, who is going to be joining me for a special one-on-one -on -one to discuss what the bookies in London think about Tiger's comeback. Stay right there, back in a moment. would like to thank all its viewers as it celebrates the Best Livestock Show Award at the News Television Awards 2012. The winner for BNS and the Stock Game this week is AK Prabhakar. Brought to you by HCL, technology that touches lives. One thing I have learned is that one is not a child, it's not income. That's why retire rich. Bajaj Alliance Cash Rich Insurance Plan. Bajaj Alliance, Geo Bifika. नए Samsung Galaxy Y Android स्मार्टफोन अब डुअल सिम के साथ देश स्मार्ट बन रहा है आप डुअल स्मार्ट बनिए Brought to you by Amul Macho, Bade Aram Se. Zuari Cement, Asli Takat Ka Champion. Toyota Quality Revolution. You're watching Tea Time with me, Shelley Chopra. Joining me now from London is Andy McKenzie of Spreadex, the bookies who are out there betting on Tiger Woods' comeback. Let me start, Andy, by asking you straight off, is Tiger back on the top list for betters? Yes, in terms of the, the betting odds ahead of the Masters, I mean, we had a period for sort of about two years when Tiger lost his way. He's had all these problems. He had the, uh, the sex scandal, the marriage breakup, the injuries where he actually fell away and wasn't, uh, you know, shock horror. He wasn't the favourite going into tournaments. But now, after his win at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, he's back as uh, the favourite again. Rory McIlroy was the favourite before the Arnold Palmer Invitational win. He was at 9-2. to two. Now he's out at 5-1. to one. So, yep, Tiger's back on uh, the top of the odds. But what kind of money rides on Tiger? Isn't that what people would get excited by? So far, plenty. Uh, his worth is also reduced. So what kind of money is riding on him now? Well, it's, uh, it's an interesting question. I mean, obviously, Tiger Woods is um, the biggest name in golf. You, you would say he's one of the biggest world superstars of sport. So he's dominated the, his sport for, for a long period of time. Um, and there was always a great interest whenever Tiger was playing an event. But it, also, it almost got to the point where... Three, four years ago, Tiger was the favourite for, for every single um, event he was playing at. And bookmakers were even making up odds without Tiger in the field. So at SpreadX, for example, we do a spread betting index on the entire players, including Tiger Woods. We'd also do a separate one without Tiger Woods because he was so dominant. So in a way, that his fall from grace has probably 
acted as quite a good little shake-up for the sport. We've had some other players uh, vying for the number one spot. We've had Lee Westwood, Rory McIlroy. Um, we've had um, Luke Donald. So it's been a really good fight. And there's been lots of other players now coming into contention, which has probably actually livened things up for, for betters. So it's been quite an interesting period and probably quite good for the game in a way. Andy, has there been any sign that golf loses out when uh, Tiger's not there, on the betting front, that is? Yeah, I mean, as I mentioned before, Tiger Woods now um, just a shade under four to one, so he's 15 to four. Um, you know, he was six to one beforehand. He's shortened. So many other players that are in contention. We've mentioned the likes of McElroy and, and Donald and Westwood. McElroy is a five to one shot. Donald uh, 16 to one. Westwood 20 to one. And you've got some other top five players. You remember, well, Tiger Woods is now number six. He's clawed his way back up from outside the top 50. So he's at, you know moving back up there. But some of the other top five players, we've got Martin Keimer and Steve Stricker available at 50 to one. So uh, lots of interest from, from different players outside of the top five and six. We've got Phil Mickelson at nine to one shot, attracting quite a lot of interest with the spread ex punters. Uh, Charles Schwartz, last year's winner at 33 to 1. But we've seen some big money coming up on another young American hope. Um, Keegan Bradley, the 25 year old, he's available at 40 to 1. We've seen you know, a bit of an outsider. It's his first ever Masters actually making his debut. So we've seen a bit of money there too as well. So you've given me a long list of various players from various parts of the world that are looking pretty good. Uh, in terms of a personal favourite topping list, uh, what would you pick? Sorry, I probably just answered that question already. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the other players in, in contention were, as I've just mentioned, you know, the top five there of uh, Donald Westwood, uh, Keimer, uh, McElroy. So, yeah, some of these others that I've just mentioned are the, the other ones that are attracting interest. I mean, outside of those players as well, we've got Justin Rose at 33 to 1. We've all seen a little bit of money on Sergio Garcia at uh, 66 to 1. Adam Scott, actually, he's in at 33 to 1. So, you know, there's lots of players in contention here. Uh, and also with the beauty of with spread betting, um, the, the likes of SpreadX, you know, you can bet on players playing against each other in live 10 threes as well. So you don't just have to bet on the, on the overall winner. So from our client's point of view, there's, there's money going in uh, lots of different areas at the moment. But when the actual tournament starts itself, we'll see lots of money riding on all these bets in play as, as the action unfolds. Thanks very much, Andy. Pleasure. That does put some serious uh, financial perspective to this discussion, doesn't it? And of course, we'll all be keeping our eyes glued onto the Masters to know if bookies are going to win backing Tiger. Thanks very much for joining us from London. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this special edition of Tea Time with me, Shelley Chopra, the Tiger Woods special. We're keeping you posted, as always, as India's only golf show on everything that happens in golf. Always game for business. That's ET Now. Thanks for joining us. And the Stock Game would like to thank all its viewers as it celebrates the Best Live Stock Show Award at the News Television Awards 2012. The winner for BNS and the Stock Game this week is AK Prabhakar. Brought to you by HCL, technology that touches lives. Today, I think the market is skeptical. It's reflected in bond yields, it's reflected in equity valuations. So from an equity investor standpoint, it's a good thing. Because you don't want to buy a market that is optimistic. You want to buy a market that is pessimistic. If the market is wrong, then you make outsized returns. Markets with Rhythm Desai decodes the markets and market makers only on ET Now. Starting July 1st, your TV viewing experience will change forever. See sharper picture, hear clearer sound, watch more channels. The Cable Amendment Act 2011 has made digitization compulsory for Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai from July 1st, 2012. To switch to a set-top box enabled digital connection, call your operator or service provider today. This is Captain C.P. Krishnayar. I have been always a path breaker. It was thrilling to see the young pioneers today. Join me on Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa, only on 18 now. Presenting India's biggest awards, recognizing the performance of stock analysts and brokerage houses. I believe you're going to see a resurgence of activity in the Indian market. Which of the analysts and brokerages will win top honors at the awards? PC Jeweler presents ET Now Starmine Analyst Awards 2011-12, only on ET Now. Starmine Awards presented by PC Jeweler. Jeweler for Generations, in association with Panasonic Econavi AC. It's one touch to change the future. Standard Chartered Bank, here for good. With one touch, the Panasonic Econavi air conditioner activates intelligence sensors, giving you maximum energy savings. It's one touch to change the future. Panasonic.
they've helped millions of investors make profitable trades in the market. Their daily advice will help you make the right trading calls. India's top technical analysts appear only on ET Now. Always thinking markets. Hello and a very warm welcome to Brand Equity with me, Sonali Krishna. The only show that gets you.